Well, here at home, we have the story of a doggy discovery that has shaken two families who both love this German Shepherd mix. Local 4's Priya Mann is in Garden City with a remarkable chain of events that led to a reunion that has taken several years to achieve. Stray dogs in Garden City end up here at Lucky Dog. So when an owner showed up looking for their lost dog with photos of the dog and a name that matched the microchip, the dog was returned. But turns out that dog was stolen and the original owner never gave up hope. Good boy. Meet Max, a 12 year old German Shepherd mix who'd been lost for six years. I prayed, I said, Lord, if he shows up at a vet, I'm just praying that they would, you know, we got them chipped for a reason. Max ended up here as a stray at Lucky Dog Luxury Daycare in Boarding. <laughs> Max was microchipped and the store owner called police. Stacy Carafota says she got a call a short time later. And the owner calls me and she says, is this Stacy? I said, yeah. She goes, yeah, my dog Max. I'm like, you already picked him up. She goes, no, I've been missing my dog Max for four years, over four years. And she said, Oh my goodness, she said, but we have her name, we have her number, we, we can get, connect you all. You the mama's boy, you the handsome. Tree Kathy is the, the person handsome. linked to Max's microchip, but for the past four years, Max was with a family in Garden City. Weird. The whole story was weird because it was kind of odd when I got the information from the microchip. I just looked at my staff and I said, this dog's been missing. I just could feel it. Turns out Max was stolen six years ago, something the Garden City family didn't know. After talking with Stacy, they decided the right thing to do was return Max to Tree. Called both owners. They met here the next day. Um, they've kept in contact. Now they're going to be the pet sitters for Max when the new owner, the old owners go on vacation. Oh my God, I'm, I'm so grateful for Stacy. She didn't have to do it. To find an owner that keeps her registration up and doesn't change their phone number and still wants her dog back, it's, it's unbelievable, really. Uh, it's a good story. It's a true story. <laughs> And it's, uh, it's just one I'm grateful for. And Stacy says it's vital to get your dog microchipped for a few reasons. One, it proves that you're the owner. And two, if your dog ends up lost, it could prevent your pup from being euthanized if it ends up at a shelter. In Garden City, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4. Wow, talk about a journey. Now, Priya tells us the story gets even better. Look at this. Tree also owns Max's mom, who is now 18 years old. She's not in great health. The family believes that Honey Bun had been hanging on in the hopes that she would be reunited with her son, Max. What a story.